Thanks. Great. So Anna will give a short presentation on the proposal for the utilization of the online platform of CAPSAC as a repository of the subrest data. The floor is yours, Anna. Thank you. So we will present uh, an, an extension of, or not an extension, an add-on on our subrest project. And it will be, the sort funding is in total 25,000 500 euro and the duration is for 12 months and it's a collaboration between different partner partners LTU, UCC and so on and most important it's a collaboration with CAPSARC and anyone is of course also uh, able to to add on if you want to be added on. So the background for this uh, project, oh wait I'm sorry, Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. So this is, uh, like I said, an add-on on the ongoing project. And I think it's, you, uh, I will spend some time on this one because it will also say why we need, why we think we need this kind of project. So in the ongoing project, we are working with a common subrest. So this was the aim of that project. And while working, we of course, so that there are more challenges that we first expected. Because of course, all of us, we are going to share subresses, but most of us have different structures and so on. So we spend a lot of time to try to agree on structure. And in the end, I think we will still have different structures in our models. And then the, the task or the difficulty is, how do we share this with each other to still have a database that everyone can be useful for for other people. And likewise, the other, on the other side, how do we then translate this database to our, our own data subrest back to individual different uh, time space uh, subrest? So this is why we in the project also started to discuss with CAPSARC how this could be done. Because CAPSARC, they, they have a database facility where people can store data. So last year we, we tested also with them how if they were able to, to import a subrest that we had created, a big subrest on the residential sector, and then see if they could import it to their database and then afterwards also extract it to a, a new subrest Excel file that we could use in the models. So it's a kind of what's called the hello world word test. And this one, we saw that it, it, was, it worked and, and it was useful. So this is then a short sketch on, on this kind of system. So we have the, like what, what we need then to, to define and what we would like to do within this project is first uh, create the scripts that can translate different kind of subrests into the database on the CAPSARC data hub. And then afterwards also make a script that make it uh, possible to define your own databases based of, of course, a selection filter that you can choose which technologies to include. And also then have the naming, so it will have the right name, what, would, what you have in your model. So to sum it up, the task is uploading the data from the ongoing at sub subrest project to the CAPSARC model data to, to develop all the necessary processes in order to ensure that data are updated on a regular period. Because I think this is also the risk with the subrest uh, data project, the ongoing one, in line with the technology briefs, that it's something that we create one time and then it's not updated. So after some years, it will not be useful. So we need to, in some way, secure how this can be updated. And the third task is to develop the necessary script to extract the data in a standard subrest format, readable and usable by times models. And in my head, this script can also be used for other databases, not only the CAPSARC data. And then the fourth task is to look into different ways on how to 
on an annual basis facilitate a continuous, continuously the review and update. And as, as well as enabling possibilities to add new kind of data sets for modeling. So this can, for example, be adding a, yeah, a new kind of sectors that we haven't had within our models before. So this is the task that will be performed within the project. And the deliver, deliverables is in line with this. So it's actually just yeah, translating this. And what we see, how it really, uh, how it can benefit the EdSub community. Uh, the, for innovation, we see that uh, this, to have this kind of regular update and so on, we see is, has not what we know has been done systematically before with inputs from energy system models. It has been done from other kind of systems and from, from uh, sc scrapping data from different sources, but not from our kind of models. And it's, as you know, we have, we have other kind of data demands and, and we want to have, we, we don't just get any data. We would like to have some kind of consistency between different data sets and so on is very important. And the next thing that we think is its benefit for our ETSA project partners is, of course, that we will all be able to share our data so everyone doesn't need to, to reinvent the data. And the cost effectiveness is that uh, CAPSARC have, have offered to do this for no cost because they are also, it's important for them that people use their services. And the relevance for the next topics is, of course, that we get an open openness and transparency in our data, and this is becoming more and more useful for uh, for for people using our models. So I think this one is makes it more easy also to to make references to the data that we use, and of course, the data will be available for for all kind of country from more countries. And so this is, yeah, and, and the other one is, of course, also that we can, by having a, a good structure, we can also kind of easily add on new kind of, of data sets when it's come, when we, when we come up with new kind of data sets. So I think that is what I was going to say about the, the project. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Anna. I don't see any questions in the chat or on the Q&A. So the idea is basically to extend the current Subres project to this new one where we make data publicly available, right? Yes, and do it in a structured way, yeah. Mm -hmm. 